Вот я прям на него сейчас лечу. Видишь направление? А, а вижу тебя. Все. Сейчас, погоди. Держи его там. Держу, держу. Вторая посадка, да? 2700. Да, второй посадкой 2700. Выстрел. Все, Гуль. Саран, Саранский, я турист. Да, выполняю прием. Есть разрыв. The armed forces of the Russian Federation continue the special military operation. In Kupiansk direction, units of the Zapat group of forces supported by aviation and artillery repelled six attacks launched by assault groups of a Fu 32nd, 60th Mechanized, 95th Airborne Brigades near Sinkovka and Terny. The enemy lost up to 155 Ukrainian troops, two tanks, three armored fighting vehicles, two motor vehicles, and one Jivostika self-propelled artillery system. In Krasny Liman direction, units of the center group of forces supported by aviation and artillery repelled three attacks launched by AFU 63rd Mechanized, 25th Airborne, and 5th National Guard brigades close to Chervenea Dobrova, Yampolovka, and Grigorovka. The enemy losses amounted to more than 220 Ukrainian troops, six armored fighting vehicles, including one Bradley infantry fighting vehicle, four motor vehicles, one U.S. made M777 howitzer, one Jivostika self-propelled artillery system, one U.S. made M119 howitzer, and one electronic warfare station. In Donetsk direction, units of the Yug group of forces liberated Vesiloy. Airstrikes, artillery, and heavy flamethrower systems fired defeated manpower and hardware of Fu 22nd, 42nd, 93rd mechanized brigades close to Kleshevka and Andreevka, up to 260 Ukrainian troops, one tank, two infantry fighting vehicles, and 17 motor vehicles have been neutralized. In the course of counter-battery warfare, three U.S. made M777 artillery systems, U.S. made Paladin self-propelled artillery systems, Jivostika self-propelled artillery systems, as well as 1D30 howitzer were destroyed. In South Donetsk direction, units of the Vostok group of forces supported by aviation and artillery repelled one attack launched of the AFU 79th Air Assault Brigade's assault groups near Novomikhailovka. In addition, strikes were delivered at units of a FU 72nd Mechanized, 128th Territorial Defense Defense brigades close to Vadianoi. The enemy losses amounted to more than 130 Ukrainian troops, two motor vehicles, two UK-made FH-70 howitzers, and one Polish-made Crab self-propelled artillery system. In Zaporozhye direction, units of the Russian group of forces hit manpower and hardware of AFU 33rd Mechanized, 82nd Air Assault, 128th Mountain Assault brigades near Rabatino, Malaya Tokmachka, and Jerebyanka. The enemy losses amounted to up to 30 Ukrainian troops, one tank, three motor vehicles, one D-20 and 1D-30 howitzers. In Kherson direction, up to 65 Ukrainian troops, three tanks, and five motor vehicles have been neutralized by fire. In the course of counter-battery warfare, the Russian troops hit one U.S., made M777 artillery system, one Jayatsin B, one m B, and one D-20 howitzers, as well as one Jivostika self-propelled artillery system. Missile troops and artillery, as well as UAVs of the Russian group of forces have engaged two temporary deployment areas of foreign mercenaries 
batteries, four missile and ammunition depots, 117 AFU artillery units at their fire positions, manpower and military hardware in 133 areas during the day. Russian air defense forces have intercepted two Tomsky tactical missiles, one U.S. made JDAM guided bomb, as well as 18 U.S. made HIMARS and checkmate vampire MLRS projectiles during the day. In addition, 91 Ukrainian unmanned aerial vehicles were shot down close to Tavoljanka, Kupyansk, Mernoy, Berlogorovka, Svetovo, Lysychansk, Verkhotoritskoy, Pesky, Novia Kakovka, Chonger, and Chaplinka. In total, 567 airplanes and 265 helicopters, 10,870 unmanned aerial vehicles, 450 air defense missile systems, 14,676 tanks and other armored fighting vehicles, 1,202 combat vehicles equipped with MLRS, 7,779 field artillery cannons, and mortars, as well as 17,593 units of special military equipment have been destroyed during the special military operation. The attack group of Army Aviation, consisting of Ka-52 Attack Helicopter and Mi-8 Search and Rescue Helicopter, carried out a combat sortie in Svetovo Kremenoi direction. During combat mission, Ka-52 Alligator Helicopter used air-launched weapons against AFU hardware and manpower. According to the reports of the Advanced Aviation Gunner, all the targets were successfully hit. Center Group of Forces Tanks Crews Wipeout Area Target in Krasny Lemon Direction After acquiring intelligence of deployment of large enemy groups in a forest belt, the tank platoon on modern T-80 BVM tanks took a firing position. Using the high speed and low noise of the combat vehicle, the tankers marched to the point and fired a series of shots at an area target in a forest belt occupied by the AFU. During a combat mission of the tank crews, AFU units lost one stronghold, one ammunition depot, one fortification group. The tank platoon fires continued in order to exhaust the enemy and disrupt all his daily activities at the positions. The group shelling of area targets forces the enemy to make an efficient use of the shelled area, which makes rotation, ammunition supply, rest of the forces on duty, and the restoration and upgrading of positions much more difficult. Captured AFU servicemen, captivity is the only way to save your life. On the eve of the start of the special military operation, Piotr Kotnik wanted to leave for a shift, earn money and go to live abroad. I had no time to make a passport and leave. The borders were closed making Ukraine a prison. He recalls, Hyatter was mobilized by blackmail. He was threatened if he failed to report to the military recruitment office. Hyatter Kotnik tells about his military training. I did not undergo any military training at all. I studied medicine. We applied tourniquets and drank vodka. After training, he was told that either he would serve as a boatman or he would have to go into the trenches. The choice was obvious, and Piotr became a steering motorist of the AFU 36th Marines Brigade. During his combat career, the serviceman managed to make two trips by boat to the left bank of the Dnieper River. They sailed among the corpses and flooded boats of fellow servicemen. On the second trip, the boat was sunk by Russian fire, the boatman was captured, and the landing troops dispersed. Now the former Ukrainian Marine has made up his mind for himself. After captivity, he wants to stay in Russia. I am at ease here, and I do not want to go to Ukraine. I want to stay in the Russian Federation to apply for a passport. Kotnik says, our government made a terrible mistake. It is wrong. So many civilians, women and children died because of our leaders. For things that happened since 2014, our Lord would punish them and not only he, Piotr believes.
Ja, 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 ja,